and we are back. So welcome back to Skyblock. So it's just immediately the morning after. Oops, as a free sapling. So as I mentioned, I cut down my rubber tree and made some rubber. So now we can start this episode by making the tin upgrade. And we also need to make the precision hammer, which is just plastic and sticks. And basically the only benefit of the precision hammer is that it shows you where your uh, mine factory tools or mine factory uh, machines are facing. So I can have a look at obviously the fact that this is, if I click, uh, click it, yeah, this one, I can spin and basically get it all lined up, make it all nice and, and working properly. That's about it. But start the episode with a quest is always good. So pick a reward bag, I'll go with this one, and I've got two moving power. So a red net energy cable, a hardened energy conduit, and some redstone energy conduit gives me some generators. Okay, that's quite cool. I can probably get to that. But I've now got two mystery safari nets, and I'm willing to take a little bit of a risk on what they are. Oh, sweet! <laughs> Giant slime! <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to have to bat you with a hammer, because I don't have any other... Although, do I want to keep you? I think I want to keep you. So where did I put those lassoes? There's one. Okay. So you might be very, very useful to keep. Ow! Nope, sit. Nope, get out. You sit. Fine, I can't apparently pick up a slime in a golden suit. I can pick up a little slime. It's annoying. I filled my inventory away. Uh, just for a temporary time being, we'll just not need that. The slime is more important. You are a pest, doggy. I know you attacked the slime because he hurt me, but you're a pest. Okay. You're in charge of guarding the sheep, not attacking the slimes. So we are going to need to drop a few little bits and bobs off, aren't we? And before my standard, I probably should have done this outside of the episode uh, response. Which is to take another chest plonk it down somewhere, in this case we'll plonk it down here next to the sludge boiler and just dump quite a lot of crap into it, uh, keeping hold of the things we might need and I'll be able to come back to this later on. I'll keep the golden lasso in case the second one is any good. So let's have a look what the second one is. So the first one was against me. Piggy! Excellent. So that's, that's good news. Now, do I have in my other spawn eggs another piggy? Yes, I do have a pig. Okay, so we can spawn pig. And we can also use my carrots to breed pigs. Gonna have to plant some uh, wheat, aren't I? So here is another pig. Piggy and piggy make baby piggy. Excellent. So we now have. Stop trying to escape, sheep. You stop trying to escape. We now have those. Let's see what we're getting on our reward bag then. What type of reward bag is this? It's a good reward bag, and it's fish jerky. Well. I am hungry. I've already got some fish jerky, so I will chow down on my basically useless fish jerky. Nom nom nom. Nearly full. And we'll just wash it down with some carrot juice. Excellent. So the golden lasso doesn't work on hostile mobs, apparently. Well, slimes, anyway. Something new, not familiar with. We obviously can make another heart. So we will do that. 
That puts us up to 12 lives. Excellent. And what's our next goal quest-wise? I suppose I could just do... I haven't got the reads, have I? I haven't got that sorted out. So we need to have a look at making a spawn chicken. It can't be as difficult, otherwise it wouldn't be a quest. So... A spawn chicken. <laughs> Placing a feather in a blood altar and losing five life points. That can't be the only way that I can make a spawn chicken in this game. That wouldn't... Let's read the instructions, shall we? Nope, it is it is the blood magic. That is the uh, that is the way it wants me to do it. So I'm going to have to go into the you're a wizard, Steve, and start by making a thermonomicon. Begin your journey. Ward of magic you need to require special tools. For blood magic, you'll be behind the power of your life essence to cast spells and create powerful artifacts. Starts with a bookshelf and a wand. A bookshelf is paper and books, which I don't have. So have I got sugarcane seeds in my food chest? Nope. Have I got any sugarcane seeds in here? Sugarcane seeds, I have. Okay. So sugarcane is quite picky in how it gets set up. So let's grab some cobblestone. pressing the wrong button. And I'm not going to be able to... Unless I put the tin upgrade in there. In which case it might pick it up, mightn't it? So if I get my... Now, at this exact moment in time, extremely useful precision hammer. I can see that that covers a much wider area. Excellent. So if I build this, is that correct? Yeah, so I can put uh, this is going to be very annoying and very messy and very dirty and very unpleasant to look at, but oops, it will do the job it needs to do. Can I, can I use does work as a hammer and it gives me back what it was that it broke interesting okay so run down here and grab a bucket of water I realize that these are wrong Does appear to be an immune hammer. It does collect cobblestone. I'm assuming it's not going to collect most other things. But we need the dirt out of this chest. Uh, and we can put dirt here. Water in here. And Boom! Sugarcane is now being grown. Technically, I could harvest those three and make a book, make a paper out of it, but that's not it's not going to work as I'd like it to, is it? Okay. There we go. Infinite water source. Infinite water source. Sorted. Great. So that should help with that getting that sugarcane to grow just slowly over time, but also get it harvested when it needs to be harvested. This is growing trees, which is fine. This has got sludge in it, which we can put in the sludge boiler and then get hurt by run away. So mean to me. <laughs> Irritating. So how do we get then a squid? 
spawn squid is made by no not how do you you what do you how do you make it? I tell you can't make it because I'm required to make it for a quest. Could make a blaze, I guess. The redstone energy conduit requires the magma crucible, doesn't it, to make liquid redstone, which is a bit bit above me, perhaps, right now. Okay, so can we use a watering can on reeds? Or sugar cane? Does this increase your growth speed in any way? You don't have a growth number on you, which implies no, this isn't going to work. Oh no, that could be an indication that it is working. You could take that to mean, yes, you can use a watering can to increase sugarcane growth speeds. It's an extremely useful thing to know. I need to monitor this for uh, for power. Salt. Interesting. Sludge boil is producing me salt. Yes. Interesting is probably not the right word, but. So I perhaps need to either put some more piping across, or I may need to reorganise my base a little bit. expand this platform and make this again my newish base so I've got pigs sheep I've recently got a good system going on haven't I good setup I could plant some other crops over here from my seeds that I've been collecting while mess messing around with the watering can and the bone mill on the grass Need some um, yeah. Basically, I just need to just start doing everything, don't I? So let's have a look at a wrong button. Some red. Was it red net? Energy conduit. There's electrum ingots. Red net cable, which is plastic. Excellent. So we are going to need lots of rubber. So, uh, I've got 15 plastic right now. Let's put these sickles in the tools chest until we need them. And we've got some plastic to make some more plastic if I need to. I think I want some electrum made up anyway, haven't I? Aluminium brass, ferrous. No, no, I haven't got any electrum. Okay. Okay. I should stop picking up the crap I don't need to pick up. You do need to come back. Okay, this is something else nearly. You do need to keep going back to this because this chest itself is a massive idiot, and because it's a massive idiot, it causes itself all sorts of stupid problems. Fourteen exotic seeds. Now I think I can plant those, and they just be they can become anything random, which is nice to know. Good to follow through with, perhaps. What did I come over here for? I don't remember. I think I've ended up probably collecting things I didn't want to collect. Nope. Ah, oh, flip sake. <laughs> exactly at that moment. Leave me alone. Okay, so it's just plastic and resin to start with, and then we need to make some electron. It shouldn't be difficult. We should be able to get through that. 
So if we empty those two out, put the line redstone across the middle, and then the line plastic across the top, across the bottom, we get the red net cable. And then electrum is obviously made from electrum blend, which is silver and gold. Again, that's going to be very easy to make in large quantities because this chest is going to be full of silver and gold, isn't it? Probably because we're using these limestone bricks for building, actually. Uh, so there's 14 gold. And there's 14 silver. That's unsurprising. That's actually extremely surprisingly already the right proportions. Get in there. Get in there as well because I don't think I have enough space to put all of them in there. Which is why I made some more seed bricks. Now I want to make a bigger, a bigger tank, which is always good. Okay, so we've got some pigs, we've got some sheep, got some more bone meal. And I can therefore encourage a tree to grow, perhaps. Just while I wait for some stuff to smelt. Yay, got two trees. Uh, makes sense, perhaps, to put an extra one in there, just to get it growing a bit faster. I forgot what I was doing. Electrum, excellent. Uh, we can make one ingot. I need the ingot really, I want to make one piece of this. Excellent. How do we make the hardened energy conduit? Invar and Lesser Energy Conduit. It's a good job we've got some Invar now. Okay. So was it again Invar ingots? Yeah. Excellent. Hello. Technically, could I not make that one? Could. Excellent. It's just the resin energy conduit now I need, which is the magma crucible one. Which requires nether brick. Which we can get from nether. How can I make nether rack? So I might. Ooh, because I've got some copper, haven't I? So we could pulverize this copper and hopefully get enough netherrack to make it worthwhile. So let's see what happens with this, shall we? It's not going to make me any car. It's not going to make me any netherrack. It's not going to fluke me into any netherrack, is it? It's going to be unbelievably mean to me. Uh, I think we need to cut pieces of string just to finish off a quest that I probably should have finished off ages ago. Um, what was it I had to make? Like a book binder? Like so. That finishes off quest number one. Which I probably should have finished off quite a while ago, but never got around to doing. Excellent. Oh, it doesn't unlock anything else. It was worth a chance that maybe it would unlock something else. But it's not going to be the case. Okay, so we'll finish by seeing if we get anything from our copper. We've got one piece of another rack. But 64 copper... It is a lot of copper. 
Why would I want to be able to put an, a chunk of this back into there? That makes no sense. So we can put nuggets in this little queue down here, can we? Hmm. Ready ho. Well, we've made some more progress and we continue to make progress and in order to keep the episodes about the same length, we'll stop this one here. I think I need to sit down and have a think about what my next building project is because the next quest is going to be quite a way off if I don't have any nether brick. I need to perhaps look at making some obsidian and going to the nether. Excellent fun. All right, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed, and always, I hope you continue to enjoy, and I will see you again soon for the next episode. Bye for now.